walk into a store with your boyfriend and he will just like, oh, you want this, 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 and this? Okay, money. Like, I mean, car. Wait, wait, where do you find these people? Because I've never had a boyfriend. I want one. Where do I find it? Japan has a huge reputation where there's a lot of sugar daddy. When you come to Japan, you end up like working in Kyabakura as like a hostess because it's extremely easy to do here. It's actually illegal, don't say illegal things. No, but it's true though. There's a big there's a reputation for it. There's books and movies about it, right? Because that's the assumption. Foreigners are not supposed to be doing it. Especially if you're a student. It's illegal, but it is easy to do so culturally because yeah. Japanese people don't feel too uncomfortable spending money in exchange for time and mm -hmm. entertainment. It's kind of sad that they think about girlfriends in a similar way. It's a face value thing. It's not really getting to know someone and sharing everything with that person. It's more like I have someone that I can spend time with. I don't have to be in my room all the time. Yeah. I just have someone that I can do things with. And to them, it has a specific value, which is weird. Cool. It works also the other way around though, because we went to Shinjuku and like those kind of bars, uh, just like cool. a guy yeah, yeah, yeah. who takes care of you like he may support your drinks and stuff it's not even sexual or anything it's no, just it's like not. pay money and there's this, there's this person taking care of you for all the weeps, you must know Oran High School Host Club kiss, kiss, fall in love. that show except for life you know they pour the drinks for you they make sure you're having a good time so if you look bored they bring out the board game and they sit down with you with <laughs> drinks at night or they make sure to hand you the microphone and maybe sit with you so that you feel loved or yeah. something i had a boyfriend when i went there so yeah. i wasn't like hoping for anything you're paying for it so you don't really feel like, like it's real today I have a few friends who do that and we end up being friends because I generally don't give a shit if they're spending time on me or whatever I just go to have a good time The bar owners have enough time to go and sit with you and talk with you and play games with you mm -hmm. So it's still fun, especially if you're not the kind of person to be jumping up and down all night Yeah, I end up being friends with them because I'm not like Oh, please talk to me When I bring certain friends and they're like mad Why are they spending so much time with that girl? They need to be they spending, spending time, time with me <laughs> oh my god, I saw it happen. It's really gross and for both ways, you know. Yeah. Why? Why Japanese chimpo? <laughs> it happened to me recently that I was just walking toward the station at like night, almost last train, so there were guys that were drunk around and this group of salary men started screaming bitch, bitch, like that to me. Because it was English, so I yeah. would like understand English and it was like... I was disgusted, like what the heck? And this video isn't really just like slander and talk about mm -hmm. Japanese boys in that way. There are great Japanese boys. Exhibit Kazuki. You ready? There's a nationwide like sexism and misconception with how you should deal with the opposite sex. I yeah, think that's what it is. And that's what you see the most. That's why like we talk about it. You don't really get nice guys looking with you. They're too shy to do that. The only interaction that you have like that is with the worst people. And that's another note, like bitch in Japanese doesn't mean a bitch. It means like a, <laughs> a slut, slut, actually. Yeah. If you look pretty and you're out at night time, <laughs> you're a bitch. I've been fantasizing of me like turning around saying, your mama is a bitch, but they never did. <laughs> One time I was just sitting in a bar and this guy who was like host, he was like a friend of my friend. So it was my friend's bar and some other guy who doesn't know me very well is also here. And I guess he's trying to treat me like all the other guests and I'm not really into it. He's trying to talk to me and make me feel good, right? And his thought is to call me a bitch because because it means I'm hot. I'm right? leaving. <laughs> I've also walked into yeah. bars I, and I just sit down and as soon as I like sit the guys are like Oh, why the guys see them? Your boobs are so large! As a matter of fact, great thing to tell me and I'm like <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do?
to say that, you know? Quiet. Living in Japan, you get so used to either sexist or sexual harassment comments. Mm. So when you tell these stories to people in the West, they're like, what? But in Japan, it's so flipping common that you're yeah. like, oh, another asshole. Yeah. In Tokyo, it's easier that you find this kind of people because it's just like, oh, yeah, I will yeah, never yeah, see yeah, you yeah, again, yeah, so I can yeah, say yeah, whatever. Yeah. Empty shields, eh? 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 The boundaries that Japanese people set are just so different from the rest of the world. We can never be truly close, but anything invasive, I'm gonna talk about. Yeah. We can't talk about our feelings, but I can talk about whether you're a sadist or masochist in public. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah, a very early question that yeah. you can ask in a relationship as like small talk, yeah. you know? Uh, are you, are you a, a sadist, sadist or a masochist? masochist? It's not as heavily sexually contextualized as uh, the rest. Yeah. But it, and people are really open about yeah, it. Yeah, people like, are super open about yeah. it. We lived in a share house together. I was sitting at a big table once. The whole table just went around telling everyone like, Oh yes, I'm a sadist! <laughs> Everything is in boxes, no? In yeah. Japan, like black or white, or like three boxes and it's one or two or three. You have to stay in one of these boxes because yeah. otherwise they're like, I don't understand. Japan is not sexless. I said it once, I'm gonna say it again. There are places where guys are having sex with multiple people every day, threesome, foursome, fivesome, tentacles, hentai is proof. All of you know it. Yeah, you know I watch that shit, bro. But there's also spaces where no one is having sex at all. For example, 47, 47, 49 percent of couples after they get married stop having sex. And Japanese men will say this to you out loud in regular conversation that their wives aren't women. What? No, my wife isn't a girl. They how, say it. How they say it? Sorry. She's my family. That's why they need a separate girlfriend. They don't understand the actual progression of why you would marry someone for love. It just sounds nice. I think that they get married because they love each other. Mm -hmm. There's no question about it. Like I heard many Japanese girls and ladies say, Oh, I oh, can't, I can't wait, wait to be married so I don't have to work anymore. And then on the men's side, to like have somebody that takes care of you, cleans your room, and cooks yeah. your dinner. Or so that they can check that off their list of accomplishments. Yeah. Because it's like, if you don't get married, you are lacking something as a human mm -hmm. being. That's a lot of other places too, it's not only Japan, but it's severe here. You don't see any young person in Italy saying something like this. Mm -hmm. And like, but I had like, my grandparents were like that. Person. Right, exactly. Yeah. So like, I got culture shock when I arrived in Japan because many young people say it, which is like, unbelievable. Cool. Talking about like, cheating in Japan can be an entire different video that I can spend forever talking about mm -hmm. but I feel like it's such a huge thing because of the fact that they don't think about love in the same way for example how a Japanese man can say that my wife is not a woman she is my family I'm sure that he loves her but he loves her like he loves his son it's a responsibility that they should care for and something like it's not sexual it's not passionate I think the definition of love in the family unit is a little bit different in Japan than it is in, in the West. Our friend, when we lived together in the share house, I said, oh, my boyfriend sent me Aishiro, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, he's a fool, because you don't have to say Aishiro until you have sex. You have to keep it and just say it there, so she's happy, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no. <laughs> Let me tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and takes like a list of things and starts reading. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why Japanese chimpo? To finish off, uh, we thought we could say like one thing that we don't like and one thing that we really like of dating a Japanese person. The thing that I dislike the most is probably just that the concept of why and how someone dates mm -hmm. is just so starkly different from my own mm -hmm. and they are usually not so willing to try to like meet you halfway and that makes it really frustrating for me because I want to put all my love and my passion to a person I want to help them grow I want them to help me grow so for me to be in a relationship where it's like no I want to see you once a month go to nice dinners I'll see you at the wedding in two years Quiet. the thing that I love the most I would say is 
Japanese people have a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. when it comes to relationships. They choose who they're gonna be with and then they tend to show up um, mm -hmm. when they say they will. So mm -hmm. when you have a good boyfriend, hopefully that's more often than once a month, yeah. but, but when they say they're going to deliver in a certain way, they always do and they don't tend to flake on you. They make an effort to make you feel special. They really see things through. For me, like the negative thing about dating a Japanese person is definitely not understanding what they're feeling, especially if they're quiet. Like, are you mad at me? Are you sad? Like, did something happen? Because for Italian people, when you're quiet, it means like, she's like, gonna go down. Mad, yeah. Yeah. So like I ask him like two, three times and he's like, no, no, it's everything okay. And then maybe at the fifth time that I ask, he's like, well, actually, tell me. Like, I don't understand, so you have to tell me. Cool. And the good thing is, um, well, as an Italian person, I'm really energetic when I'm excited about something. I'm like, oh my god, let's do this, let's go there. And it's good to have somebody on your side that is like, balance that energy out. So like, chill that you can be like really excited but they're like oh okay let's do this it's just like a great balance of feelings and everything yin like, and it's yin like yang. it's like <laughs> yin and yang thing yeah it makes me feel good of course there are times that i'm like want to kill you because it's like why don't you get excited like me at the end of the day it's nice to have balance and different point of view also from the other person it kind of connects with my point because it's like you feel stability and comfortable mm -hmm. this could work for a long time because yeah. you balance each other out yeah so when it works Works, guys, it really works. Yes, that's the point. Th there's no middle way. There's no middle. <laughs> it's either you want to kill him on spot, or it's like the best thing, and you're gonna yeah. be old together on like a nice rice farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today's video and we hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. We produce these free videos with your support, so if you want to know how to become a patron, you can check the description down below or you can search on patreon.com slash liveloveland. Get your free templates and vocabulary lists on our website, gladlyglobal.com. Why are you waiting? It's free! Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. <laughs> Comment down below, show us some love, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.